Hello! In this video, we're going to be looking at DMX sequences and step programming in ESA Pro 2. There's three ways to program DMX sequences in ESA Pro 2. The DMX sequence scene type, the paint block, and the DMX block. Please note that DMX sequence scene type and DMX block are only available in versions of ESA Pro 2.3 and above. So if you don't see these, then we recommend checking out our website for the latest version of ESA Pro 2. We're going to start by looking at the paint block. While the paint block that contains the DMX data appears on the master timeline, the DMX within is programmed on a step-by-step -step basis. The step functionality will be familiar to those who have used ESA 1 or ESA 2. The paint block and all DMX sequences are very memory efficient ways to program, which makes it perfect if you're using a flash memory device, such as the Slessor U9 or U10, the Stick GU2, GA2 or CW4, or the Dina DR Micro. Paint works by selecting a color and then painting over the desired fixtures. When you select the paint block, you'll have the steps list appear on the right side of your window. At the top of the window, you have the playback controls for the sequence. To the right of this, you have your color picker and eraser tools. When you select the color picker, it will appear in a separate window. You can select from the preset colors, use the sliders to create a color of your choice, or input the MX values directly. Enable or disable extra color channels using the checkboxes. You can then use the rectangle lasso to paint fixtures within the rectangular selection, or use the paintbrush to paint over the desired fixtures. Next to your color picker is the eraser tool. This will remove the colors from fixtures. You can use the tools at the bottom of the steps pane to add new steps and to copy, paste, and delete steps. Steps work the same way here as they do in the ESA2 software. You can set a time for the steps to fade in and a time for the step to be held. As you see, I've got a red, green, and blue step that each fade in for two seconds, hold for one second, and then move to the next step. Next, we'll take a look at the DMX block. This block is found under the special section in selections. Unlike the paint block, you program your DMX by calling up a DMX levels grid. Select your desired DMX universe from the drop down at the top and select if you wish to view the address of each segment in the grid or the DMX value. To program your DMX, double click on the desired address and enter your DMX value. You can assign values to multiple DMX addresses per step. The ability to target specific DMX channels with specific values makes this block type ideal when triggering external devices that can receive DMX. You can add additional steps using the tools in the steps pane. This works in the same way as it does for the paint block. Finally, we're going to look at the DMX sequence scene type. For users of ESA2, this is going to be very familiar. So when you create a DMX sequence, instead of the timelines present in a regular scene, you'll have a DMX fader board appear. As I have RGB fixtures selected, we have faders for the red, green, and blue channels of those fixtures. Using the fader icon here, we can expand this view so we can see the RGB fader for each selected fixture. In this expanded view, you can change which universe specifically you're viewing. Like the paint block and DMX block, you have your step list on the right side and it works in the same way as it did for the paint and DMX blocks. Once you've finished your programming, if you wish, you can right click on the DMX sequence under my project and turn it into a DMX block on a timeline, allowing you to blend DMX sequences and scenes. An additional new feature this has enabled us to implement is compatibility with ESA2.dlm files. The only thing not imported are port and time triggers, but all of your scenes from an ESA2 file will be imported as DMX sequences, giving you access to all of the powerful features available in ESA Pro 2. Thank you for watching this ESA Pro 2 tutorial. Why not check out one of our other tutorials?